Ladies and gentlemen, it is your favorite boy, Rumi, back at it again with another Sokoku video. But yeah, I reached my goal of 100 subscribers very quickly, which I am excited about. So I have decided to make another one of these videos because it is fun and it is how I am surviving and not getting put into the psych ward. But with that out of the way, my main focus of this video is going to be the light novel Stormbringer, which I've heard rumors it is getting animated at the start of season 5, but as of this video being made, there is still spoilers for the light novel. So if you haven't read it, I wouldn't recommend continuing. With that said, I think we can now get into the actual video. So just as a little refresher, the story takes place a year after Chuya joined the Port Mafia or a year after the events of 15. And he is currently like managing and doing stuff with a gym black market, I believe. He goes to like their little hangout, his hangout spot with his friends from a group called The Flags, which I have definitely misread as the F slur more than once. But yeah, the flags give him a gift that is a picture of him as a child holding the hand of an adult on a beach, basically. And so then this robot investigator comes in called Adam Frankenstein, and uh, he takes Chewie out, basically like kidnaps him, and tells him that Paul Verlaine is coming to kill him. And Chewie is like, I'm not teaming up with you, loser. So he basically like runs away and ends up running into Verlaine. And this novel is like so surprising to me a lot of the times. Like I thought that Chuya was like the strongest character in Bungo Stray Dogs, dude. And then this guy showed up and freaking banged on his ass. That sounds really wrong. But you get the point. Chuya got his ass kicked and like that was just really surprising to me. And of course now Chuya is really pissed off. He's like, um, you can't come and kick my ass and kill my friends, dude. That's crazy. But yeah, the first like part where we see Dazai and Chuya together in this novel is like right after the scene where Dazai kind of comes over and nullifies Chuya's Arahabaki and then carries him on his back, which is so freaking sweet to be honest. But yeah, he takes Chuya back to the bar and Chuya finds like all his friends that he was just hanging out with dead. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, basically, Verlaine tells Chuya that he isn't a human and that he should just come with him and leave the poor mafia behind and stuff and they can go to, like, Europe or whatever. But yeah, the next time we really see any, like, Sokoku-related content is in Chapter 3 or Code 3, whichever you'll be calling it. In which it is titled, I Want to See Chuya Suffer as a Human Being. Now, if you've read Stormbringer, then you would know that this is coming from Dazai's perspective. Dazai is the one saying here, I want to see Chuya suffer as a human being. And do you know why? Well, it's simply because Dazai firmly believes that Chuya is in fact a human being. He knows that Chuya isn't just like some lab experiment like everybody else thinks he is or even Chuya himself thinks he is. Chuya does not feel like a human. He even thinks that he isn't a human. So Dazai coming around saying, yeah, he's a human. I want to see him suffer like one. It's just kind of nice, you know? It's like, well, not that he wants to see Chuya suffer, but like, think about it this way. Dazai's messed up ass probably thinks that suffering is like part of life and I mean well it is but I think Daza's view on it is a little bit different than most normal people's but what I'm saying is that Daza knows that she is a human anyways sorry for ranting that title is just so silly to me and I love it and I know I'm slightly getting sidetracked here but did I mention how in 15 Daza specifically said that Chuya makes him want to give life a try it's crazy guys it's crazy crazy homosexual that is but anyways Chuya ends up trusting like or not trusting I guess but following in and trying to learn about like his past that he can't remember and it ends up like torturing him so that's cool but yeah then Dazai shows up and pulls Shirase out of the closet now all he needs to do is pull himself out of the closet Meanwhile, Chuya is out here getting tortured 
but Dazai and Adam basically go and look for Chuya. Meanwhile, Chuya is kind of currently like conflicting with Verlaine and Verlaine is telling him that he should just kill In, except Dazai and Adam don't want to do that because that would mean that they would never know if Chuya was actually truly a human being. Now Adam wants to know because it's like his mission, but Dazai, I don't know what the hell this guy is trying to do with that. Like, what would you do with that information, Dazai? No, it's that he wouldn't do anything with it. It's that Chuya wouldn't believe him if da if it was coming from Dazai's mouth. Well, maybe he would, but T wants Chuya to know that he really is a human being. But yeah, then Verlaine leaves and takes in with him to like some tall tower or something if I remember correctly and kind of like tries to get him to tell him about his creation but he doesn't fess up about it. So then Verlaine goes to kill his final target, Mori. You know, the boss of the Port Mafia, the guy that everybody hates because he's a gross pedophile. So Verlaine gets on the train, Mori's on, Mori isn't there, it's a, bu it's a body double. And it is all part of Dazai's plan because he gets ambushed. This is also when Dazai says some fruity ass line about always thinking about ways to annoy Chuya, which is honestly the fruitiest shit that I might have ever heard. Why are you always thinking about Chuya? Are you gay or something? Do you have a crush on him? Why are you doing that? Explain it. Wait, psych update on what I said earlier. I just looked through my photos and apparently the reason that Dazai didn't want in to die was, or supposedly, was that the formula that in could find from Chuya, or the knowledge in general that he has, his plan to make Chuya his honorable maid? What? Okay, I know that this guy is into some kinky shit. Like, this is Dazai we're talking about. This guy's messed up. For sure. Beyond messed up. This guy's batshit insane, but there is no way, dude. There is absolutely no way. I, I, when I tell you that I screamed when I was reading this, I'm so serious. I'm actually so serious because what is this man even trying to say right here? Besides the fruitiest thing you've ever seen, like. Does he want to see Chuya in a maid dress? That's gay as hell. Does he want Chuya to like always um, be with him and stuff? That's gay as hell. Like, just what? Just, just, it's just unfathomable, dude. I don't know what he's trying to say here, but it is goofy and there's no hetero explanation for it. So then Dazai's like, yo, Mori, what the freak? How do we take this guy down? And he's like, dude, you and Chuya just partner up and like beat the shit out of him. Dazai's like, no, I don't want to do that. And so Mori's just kind of like, well, if you die, then nobody can save Chuya from Arahabaki, and that means that you'll both die. Essentially, you'll be committing double suicide with Chuya. And that is just the silliest thing ever, guys, because, like, even. Like, because clearly this parallels, like, Dazai's obvious always wanting to commit double suicide with girls that he always finds attractive. So when Mori is like, you guys could commit double suicide together. Hooray! Clearly, it is referencing like a lover's suicide. As in, Mori is basically saying, hey, shipping them. He's shipping them here. That's what I'm trying to say. Like he's, you get the point. And while I am probably exaggerating on that too, um, like it's fruity. It, it's fruity it's fruity you can't deny that but yeah adam like explodes so they think that verlaine is like dead so dazai kind of goes over to chuya and he says like i recaptured some of N's subordinates so i could and i learned a lot from in so i could probably just like read the formula and see if you had memories that were erased and stuff and see if you're a real human and Chuya just kind of responds like, I wouldn't let a guy like you take a peek inside of me. And it is, the f it is so funny, guys. I, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm such in a silly, goofy mood right now, but it is actually so silly. But Verlaine kind of gets up and ends up being like a super strong, like his final form, you know? And so Dazai and Chuya have to come up with like a way to take him down. So Dazai decides that um, he has a plan, but if Chuya were to execute it, then... 
he wouldn't be able to know if he was a human or not in the end, like not actually get it confirmed. And also besides that, there was just like so much like bantering and silly goofy little um, moments with them in this like p part of the book. It's just, it's just so good and I could not fit like all fit into this video. But yeah, Dazai says that committing double suicide with Chuya would just be gross, so he'll take this seriously. But yeah, Chuya basically takes down Verlaine and uh, Dazai catches him while he's falling and nullifies his abilities so he doesn't like wreak havoc or anything. And is basically like holding him in his arms and says, good work, Chuya. And that's basically the end of it, but um... We do find out in the epilogue that Chuya happens to have like a mark on his like right wrist that probably wouldn't be there if he was the artificial version. Like that kind of just, so that really just shows like his humanity and it's just like a nice conclusion to a light novel that made me cry. I don't know if it's because I'm extremely obsessed with Boonga Stray Dogs right now or because it was really good or both or what, but dude, it was amazing, so. Uh, alas, sadly, that is about all I have for this video. If you would like to see another Sokoko video, then how about let's go for the goal of 300 subscribers. If I get 300 subscribers, I will be uploading about them more, just like this video, or maybe even some different kind of content. You never know. So just subscribe, and then I will waste my time making Sukoko videos for no reason besides for the entertainment of you and myself, considering I do not make money from this because I do not get hardly enough views for that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Está perfecto, no no para más. What this? 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 What this